As a wise old sage once said, if you don't want your movie spoiled, stay off the internet. The internet has made finding and discussing movie plot holes easier than ever before, which can be pretty great, except when it isn't. Knowing about a major plot hole can totally ruin a movie for you. But ever so often, we have our minds blown by a plausible explanation to what we all thought was a mistake. Yeah, right. That's right, some famous movie plot holes are not what they seem, and we're gonna break it down for you in this video. But before we get into discussing some of them, don't forget to subscribe to Screen Rant and join our notification squad so you never miss a future upload. And can you guess the title of this film based off of just these emojis? We'll let you know the answer at the end of the video. This is the part where we blow up! Not today! Toy Story. Kicking off today's list is Pixar's animated classic, Toy Story. Released in 1995, Toy Story was the first ever feature-length film made entirely in computer animation. Since the movie's release, one glaring plot hole has perplexed fans of the family-friendly film. If Buzz Lightyear doesn't think he's a toy, why does he freeze when humans enter the room? This certainly seems like a plot-breaking problem, but there's a pretty simple explanation that relates to Buzz's character. As an explorer who has traveled the galaxy, Buzz would be an expert when it comes to dealing with alien races and learning the nuances of their species. So imagine you're speaking with a strange alien race when all of a sudden a bunch of scary giants walk in and start grabbing you and throwing you around. The best course of action would be to adopt the defensive strategy of the race that has survived this threat time and time again. So Buzz would instinctively mimic the other toys when they freeze. I guess he's smarter than we give him credit for. We all thought the Toy Story franchise came to an end with the release of Toy Story 3, but fans will be happy to hear that a new entry in the series is set for release in 2019. Very bad feeling about this. Star Wars A New Hope. This won't be the only Star Wars plot hole that we cover in this video. With so many films in the franchise, there have been plenty of opportunities for mistakes to be made. This one has been bothering fans for decades, but the recent release of Rogue One helped shed some light on this potential plot ruiner. Many fans have pointed out that it takes a really long time for the Death Star to get into position in order to blow up Yavin 4. They have a crazy super laser that can destroy planets, so why does it take so long to do so? It really feels like George Lucas was just using this as a stall tactic in order to squeeze more runtime out of the script. But that's not the case. First of all, Yavin 4 is actually a small moon orbiting the planet Yavin. So the Death Star has to orbit around the planet in order to get a clear shot of the smaller moon. This is further proven in Rogue One where we can see that the Death Star doesn't have the power to blow up a planet as big as Yavin. So they couldn't just shoot through it. They had to very precisely line up their shot in order to not waste the Death Star's resources. For those who love free stuff, we're excited to announce the Premium Network. The Premium gets you early access to videos from Screen Rant, CBR, The Gamer, and many other great channels. Literally thousands of videos in one place with ad-free browsing. How sweet is that? Sign up for free of the Premium by clicking the link to start binge-watching videos from your favorite channels. James Cameron's Avatar is the groundbreaking 2009 science fiction film that proved motion capture could create a visually stunning and realistic on-screen experience. The film focuses on the beautiful world of Pandora, which faces human colonization that would destroy the planet's ecosystem. Speaking of which, there's one small technical detail about Pandora's ecosystem that has a few fans shaking their heads in disbelief. Personally, we think that if you can suspend your disbelief enough to watch the film in the first place, this shouldn't even be a problem. But nonetheless, many viewers have pointed out that since humans can't breathe properly on Pandora, there must be a lack of oxygen. This would mean that there couldn't be huge explosions like the ones we see in the film. I mean, they're just pissing on us without even the courtesy of calling it rain. But this is actually based on a very small misunderstanding about the planet's environment. Humans can't breathe on Pandora not because of a lack of oxygen, but because of an abundance of carbon dioxide. Oxygen is still present to allow for those visually stunning explosions. After many delays, Cameron himself has confirmed four Four sequels are in the works, the first of which should be released in 2020.
sixth sense. Writer-director M. Night Shyamalan catapulted into international acclaim in 1999 with his film The Sixth Sense. The story follows a young boy played by Haley Joel Osment, who is able to see dead people. He is joined by a child psychologist played by Bruce Willis, who tries to help him cope with the supernatural ability. Spoiler alert, it turns out Bruce Willis was actually dead the whole time and didn't even know it. M. Night Shyamalan became known for his twist endings thanks to the success of The Sixth Sense. But a lot of people have criticized this particular twist as being a big plot hole for the film. Sure, the audience doesn't know that Bruce Willis is dead, but how come Bruce doesn't know? He only ever talks to Haley Joel Osment. Wouldn't he suspect something is off the moment he tried to talk to anyone else? The film actually explains this very well, albeit quickly enough for some viewers to miss. Osment's character says that ghosts only see what they want to see, meaning that they don't perceive the world in the same way as the living. So it's entirely possible that the ghost of Bruce Willis just hasn't clued in to certain aspects of reality. Kind of like in a dream when you hop from one experience to the next without a clear through line, in the moment, it makes perfect sense, even if it's out of touch with reality. Star Wars The Force Awakens Our next plot hole from the Star Wars universe comes from a much more recent entry in the franchise, 2015's The Force Awakens. The film was a massive success, raking in over $2 billion in the box office. For so many Star Wars fans, The Force Awakens was the long-awaited return to form for the franchise after the disastrous prequel trilogy. They look like that. But many fans complain that Rey shouldn't have been able to use the Force so quickly. Indeed, she does seem to have a mastery of the Force that's way beyond her experience, but it's unfair to call this a plot hole at this stage of the new trilogy's life. The Force Awakens is only the first chapter in Rey's story. This probably isn't a plot hole at all, but a deliberately vague moment that will be further explored in the later films. Rey's connection to Obi-Wan Kenobi has already been introduced. While we don't know the exact nature of their relationship yet, we know that they have some sort of connection that could explain her strong natural abilities with the Force. We're sure to get more of an explanation when The Last Jedi hits theaters in December of this year. Get off! Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets This next supposed plot hole comes from the second installment in the wildly successful Harry Potter film franchise, 2002's The Chamber of Secrets. We now know from later entries in the series that Harry himself is a horcrux, so this creates an interesting conundrum upon re-watching this earlier film. Many fans have pointed out that Harry should have been destroyed when he was bitten by the Basilisk. In fact, many fans took to Twitter and Tumblr to ask J.K. Rowling to clear this one up, and the question gained a lot of traction, but it turns out that this question question is based on a fundamental misunderstanding of the rules of the Harry Potter universe. J.K. Rowling herself finally explained this one, undoing all of the fan speculation with a single tweet. She stated, The Horcrux receptacle has to be destroyed beyond repair, so Harry would need to have died. She follows this tweet up with a hashtag, Please never ask me that one again. I guess the author was understandably miffed about getting that question over and over and over again. Thankfully, Potter fans can rest easy knowing that Rowling has, indeed, tied up every loose End. So, Gandalf, you tried to lead them over Garadras. And if that fails, where then will you go? The Lord of the Rings. This is a plot hole that seems to negate not just one story, but a whole trilogy of movies. In the Lord of the Rings films, directed by Peter Jackson, Frodo and his friends must take the One Ring to Mordor and destroy it. The Fellowship carries the ring on foot through countless trials and hardships. When they finally destroy the ring, Gandalf sends a giant bird so that they can hitch a ride home. Well, wait a second. If Gandalf has access to a giant flying bird, why did the Fellowship have to walk all that way in the first place? There are a number of reasons as to why this wouldn't work. The Eye of Sauron would be able to see the birds flying in from miles away and would be more than prepared to swat them out of the sky before they get anywhere near Mount Doom. If Frodo were hitching a ride, he'd most certainly end up squashed from the fall. So why not just give the ring to one of the eagles and have them do a flyby? Because the ring is pure evil. It corrupts those who are near it. Hobbits are somewhat resistant, but the eagles aren't, meaning it would be a huge gamble to give the ring to one of them. Home Alone. 
Home Alone was a runaway Christmas comedy success when it was released in 1990. Written by John Hughes and directed by Chris Columbus, Home Alone starred the young Macaulay Culkin as Kevin McAllister, the kid who accidentally gets left behind when his parents go away on vacation. What kind of mother am I? When two thieves, played by Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern, make Kevin's house their latest target, Kevin sets up preposterous and hilarious traps in order to keep the burglars at bay. Some attentive fans have pointed to one small detail that creates a major plot hole in the family-friendly film. Early in the film, Kevin's family tries to phone him when they realize he's been left at home, but they can't get through because the phone line is down. A tree knocked it out during a storm. So if that's the case, how is Kevin able to call Little Nero's Pizza later on in the movie? However, a Reddit user was able to offer a possible explanation based on personal experience. It's entirely possible that the tree could have simply knocked out long-distance calls, but not local calls. This theory was later backed up by an AT&T executive who explained this dated tech to the Huffington Post. Titanic. This one's a doozy, and it comes from James Cameron's 1997 Best Picture winning epic, Titanic. The classic film is a fictionalized reimagining of the story of the famous ship that sunk in 1912. The RMS Titanic serves as the backdrop to a beautiful love story between a young Leonardo DiCaprio as Jack Dawson and the upper class Rose DeWitt, played by Kate Winslet. Their relationship comes to a tragic end when Jack sacrifices himself so that Rose has a shot at being rescued. For years, fans have been adamant that Jack and Rose could have shared the floating slab of wood and avoided Jack freezing to death at the end of the movie. After all, it looks like there's a whole lot of room on that thing. And even if there isn't, couldn't they have just taken turns? It seems so needless that Jack has to sacrifice himself. Well, there's already an explanation for this one in the scene itself. We see them try to share floating debris, but it doesn't work. It keeps flipping over and is simply not buoyant enough to hold the both of them. Trading off also wouldn't work because Rose is already near hypothetical. Thermia herself. I am your father. Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Our final entry deals with one of the most memorable moments in cinematic history Darth Vader's crushing reveal that he is, in fact, Luke Skywalker's father. In Rogue One, we see a lot of examples of Darth Vader's power. He clearly has a wicked mastery of the Force. At the end of the movie, he single handedly wipes out a bunch of rebel soldiers. So, in the original trilogy, when Luke escapes by falling away from Vader, why didn't Vader simply grab him and lift him back up using the Force? This seems like a real glaring plot hole, but the the explanation is maddeningly simple. Luke simply can't be forced into joining the dark side. He has to be committed to the cause and join willingly. No! If Vader had captured him, Luke would probably just resist even more. So really, telling him the truth and allowing him to escape is really Vader's only good move. He'll run away for now, but perhaps the truth of his lineage will eventually sway him psychologically. Star Wars fans have a whole lot to look forward to with the new entries in the franchise already lined up for at least the next three years. So there it is, some famous movie plot holes that were anything but. That may be all for today's list, but if you want to see more, subscribe to Screen Rant so you'll be notified whenever we upload a video. While you're at it, be sure to like the video and check out even more on our playlist. Do you disagree with any of the explanations on this list? What's the worst plot hole you can think of? Have a good one. Before we forget, the answer to the emoji question is... Well, did you get it right? Let us know in the comments below. While you're at it, check out our playlist, and as always, thanks a whole lot for watching.